hey, there haven't been any shoots, so there's no shoots to make videos about. So I'm gonna give you a vlog about what I've been doing around the ranch in the last week. Unfortunately, most of my time is sitting right here working on the computer, but I get outside a fair amount. Hi. Little Miss Pris is over there in Delta. Hush, working on puzzles and amazingly selling guns. Don't you guys realize we're in a pandemic? Apparently a lot of people don't think it's gonna last forever. Hush, which is good. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the work we're doing on the lake closest to our house. Uh, we've been creating structure and doing all kinds of things like that to improve the bass habitat. I understand a lot of people have been stuck inside. So I'm gonna take you outdoors with me. This is for the bait fish. Dude, they were there waiting on it. Hey, do you think that's more bluegills or my insectos? I see a lot of bluegill right here. You think they're bluegills? Yeah, I see a lot of bluegills. Lake Bravo, which is the second mining pit that we've done here on the ranch. 48 to 52 feet deep, and it's grown some amazing bass. We had an employee that caught, I believe, six a few years ago, five, four to five years ago. Two were at a hair over 16 pounds and four were a little bit over 15 pounds which is really close to the state record. We tested it and the dissolved oxygen is about 11 parts per million where normally according to what we were told by the, uh, the water people uh, most surface stuff around here has two to four parts per million lakes, ponds, and canals and stuff, uh, the normal habitat. So this is super, uh, super dissolved oxygen. It grows really, really huge fish really fast. We had a uh, fish kill two years ago, right after the hurricane, and we really don't know what killed them. We don't know if it was the algae bloom. We don't know if the water turned over and less oxygenated water came to the top. There's all kinds of theories, and we've had different experts tell us all kinds of different things. We restocked it uh, almost two years ago, and there's fish in, uh, approaching six pounds in here. So now we're getting uh, serious about managing it. We've made 16 of these structures uh, because the fish are just really spread out, and we're hoping to group them up uh, nicely around the structures. Um, and then it'll be time to start feeding them. I think in a couple weeks we're going to stock some crawfish. And of course, we, we, we stocked a bunch of forage before we stocked the bass the first time, but we're going to start doing some more supplemental feeding, some more shiners, um, probably whatever we can get management people and see what they recommend for a lake like this. The fish are really, really fat and they're growing really fast, so they're probably fine, but we figure a little bit of extra forage would probably be good for the lake. So we had 16 of these structures made. They're concrete with one inch PVC pipe stuck in them. Well, he did it exactly like what we asked, but after it was done, we decided we wanted them longer to where they would actually drape over. And because these things are such a pain, but this weighs about a hundred, they weigh about a hundred pounds of this. Um, that what we decided to do was just sort of add to them. The other thing we did is, uh, that was really smart is to put a rebar loop in there. So what we'll do is in order to get them out into the water, we'll take the bass boat up there with a rope, go around that, drag them out there. And then when we get them out as far as we want to, we'll let go of one end of the rope and it should just sit there. I don't think these are going anywhere. help showed up thanks to the coronavirus. Makes everything I do 10 times more fun when I have my boys with me.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. good one. Good one. Boy, he tugged on that. That's a tank, guys. Oh, I should have brought a scale. I'm going to say he's four. There's bass, one, two, two mature bass, and a gar. Oh, there we go. What do we got there? Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that just a little bit of some of the stuff we've been doing out here at the ranch and hope everybody stays safe